Hey YouTube, Sarge Random again. Today we are... Actually, I'm not sure what we're doing. Just finished killing the Pursuer, though. Uh, we got the Blacksmith's Key. And... Hold on, I'm checking out my inventory. Nothing to spend. Okay, so... As I stated in the last one, we already have... Uh, are able to equip the Heidi Knight Sword and the... Uh, fire Sword. So, um, it's kind of an even split. Uh, for this character, I think um, I'm going to go with 20 int uh, for now, and then we're going to go a little more endurance, just so I can roll a little better. Okay. So, uh, actually, I don't know. We're gonna go back to where the giant is, and we're gonna get a very important ring. Eventually, I think. Nah, we should get it. Unless I'm retarded and die, which is definitely possible. And maybe we'll just die at a loading screen. Okay, so first, uh, I didn't even get this the first time. We're going to go up here and get some items to this door. It's a soldier key. You got it from uh, what the, the giant. And then pretty much grab the free hand axe, radiant life gem. Open up door number two. Uh, I believe there's one more chest here. Ah, uh, hand, I don't remember what it is. I don't believe it's terribly important. It's an Asus flask and something else. I kind of skipped through it. Uh, and then there is. Ooh! Me being retarded. Divine Blessing. Yeah, uh, which just. It heals everything, essentially. I'm gonna go back up and kill him, because I think I missed something. Do, 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 do. Oh shit. Where'd he go? Shit, where did he go? Um Okay, I guess never mind. Well Oh, there he is. Uh da, 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 da. I think wasn't hundred percent, but oh right, no, nope, there's his chest. We will attack it, because Mimics in this game really suck. And traps do too. So all that shield repair powder. Which repair powder is surprisingly good. Uh, if you don't feel like stopping at a buying fire, throw on some repair powder and keep going. Okay, so for... Uh, I'll sit at the bonfire again. I'll heal up. Uh, this next part, what I was saying, this key we're going to go get uh, is actually really important. Well... Not really important, but it, it definitely is useful. Okay. Yeah, just after killing this little fucker. Uh, let me keep going. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get the key for the mansion. Which is a very essential key if you want to mess with your character's stats at all. Which I know, my first playthrough, I changed stats. Like, as soon as I got the Soul Vessel, I changed stats. So, it's definitely useful to have. Now, I will probably fuck this up. Well, I didn't do it for a change. The first time I did that jump, I jumped straight off the edge. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. Yeah, uh, we'll backstab him. Uh, we're just gonna have more arrows. Nothing too dangerous. At this point, you shouldn't be. You'll take a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. And there'll be a stone to the left. Uh, wait for it. Uh, you got a free kill, human effigy. And up here, in this little butthole, 
is I'm not I don't remember exactly what he's looking for. But he's a he's a map maker. And I apologize, I don't uh, dialogue for him really isn't that interesting. He's really fond of maps and actually more obsessed with maps and uh, you'll see later in the game he actually sits at the bottom of the mansion. And it'll be you'll have a um it'll show a giant map of like all the bosses you've killed. Not 100% sure if that's what it is, what it shows. But I know late in the game, you when you see the map, there's just like a bunch of lights lit up where you've been in the area. It's really cool. But he's kind of useless. I actually ended up killing him in my first time through. Just because it's part of another uh, uh, quest. Or... Uh, I guess quests, it's missions, I think it's a better word than quests. I don't like the word quest in this game. Uh, mission, yeah, we'll go we'll go with mission. But no, yeah, that that house key is definitely important. And then this guy, of course, if you go forward he'll he'll stab you in the back. And it's it's more annoying than anything else. I don't know if there's an asshole behind you, but ignore him, just climb up. Okay, so we got the mansion key. Let's go explore the mansion. Cause you will learn to love the mansion for changing around your stuff, like I said, uh, later in the game. You don't like being a sorcerer, switch it up. I mean, you still be a sorcerer class, but put it all into strength and... Or you want to be a tank, put it into vitality and... Uh, endurance. And I mean, just cruise on through. It's, pretty, it's really helpful. But you only... I forget if it was confirmed at... Five or six? I've always just assumed that it's uh, that it's five for the amount of soul vessels that are in a playthrough, but I, I'm not 100%. So use the house key. There's only one boss in here. Uh, there's nothing really in here. Uh, nothing of importance, at least. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go up here. So if we go downstairs, that's towards the soul vessel. Let's go up here and get uh, just a few chests to open up. Like I said, there's no mobs, so... Uh, in this area, there's no mobs that you have to worry about. Uh, Titanite Shard Torch. Definitely Titanite earliest part. Definitely would grab that. I level up... Probably the Fire Sword, if you're going to level up anything. And then see that that's the light. That's where I've been. That's the boss. Uh, that's the map. Um... Uh, uh, I keep thinking that's a chest. <laughs> it looks like a fucking chest. Uh, down here. So there's going to be this asshole. Which actually, for early on, is kind of annoying to kill. But he's going to do this. And he's more irritating than anything. But he's really easy. Nothing crazy. Give me an effigy. Now this is the part, that, or this is the place you need, you'll, you'll get this item, SS Flash Shard. Now we have two of them to turn in, but we want this chest, and what's in this chest is the Soul Vessel. And the Soul Vessel, of course, uh, like I was saying, you use and you can change um, your stats. Which again, if, if you don't like your character, unlike Dark Souls 1, you can use it to... Um, change them up a bit. Okay, there is one more... I thought there was one more place, but... It might have just because I ran around this place so many times the first time. Well, anyways, that, those are the most important things. That's the flask and the, the soul vessel. Um, oh, there was a person for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, um, we got 2,000 souls, nothing crazy. Let's go talk to Senor Blacksmith. Blah-dee-blah. 
Uh, there's no items that need to be repaired, uh, but we are going to reinforce. And I think I will save that for next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time, and we'll kill another boss, hopefully.